Hi and welcome back to another CSS Grid video where I teach you um, how to use CSS Grid uh, layout which is a new spec for CSS3 uh, and how to use that in the real world. Uh, in the previous videos in this playlist you learned how to actually use the tool CSS Grid. Uh, in this series of videos I'm going to do something where we actually create a website using uh, the different components of Grid and figure out how this thing is going to work when we actually start applying it to a website. So one of the easiest things to do is to create a grid, right? To create a, a like a thumbnail grid or some sort of a, a, a very structured, highly structured grid layout. Uh, that's easy for us to perceive and it's easy for us to see uh, that we'll be able to use grid for that. But uh, grid is supposed to be the thing that replaces all of our frameworks. So we have to be able to create real websites with uh, using CSS Grid by getting rid of uh, some of the things like Bootstrap or Foundation that have allowed us to lay out websites like you see here. And so I'm going to show you how we can use Grid and how we can integrate Flexbox inside of Grid to be able to create a website like you see here. So I've, I've mocked up just kind of a modern looking website. Uh, it has a basic header and a large image here, a hero image. Uh, you can see that the whole thing is 1530 pixels wide so that's how I've set it and uh, we have a nice little feature area and then a call out and then maybe a blog type section where you're uh, you're showing blog posts here with a little read more link or visit the blog and then down here is kind of a an Apple style you know section at the footer where you can get uh, links to a lot of internal pages or internal information like you want to get to. So <clears throat> again this is 1530 pixels wide and the, the way I got to that is I've created an actual 12 column grid and so you can see here that each of the columns is 100 pixels uh, wide so 100, 100, 100 <clears throat> and then that's 1200 pixels across plus there's a 30 pixel gap uh, between the two so uh, if you go back and you think about when we talked about doing the the grid superstructures <clears throat> the grid starts you know if you can envision the grid uh, wrapper being the outside lines here um, all of our grid gaps happen inside of the two outside lines so this is actually a perfect uh, setup for utilizing CSS grid because we don't have some sort of funky um, we don't need the gap on the outside uh, because not, there will be no gap. There will only be internal gaps for our grid using grid gap. Uh, we, have, we have one row here, <coughs> two rows, three rows, four rows, and so overall six rows. So there's a fifth row and then a sixth row. Uh, we don't I don't envision having to declare the rows. I think um, we can if we want to, but we should be able to declare some heights and uh, things like that on these rows uh, to be able to get the structure that we want to get. Uh, some things are just going to, like this is going to be kind of a fluid uh, type row, I can tell. This could be, um, these two sections here could be a specific height. This is going to be a little bit more fluid, and this will probably be a little bit more fluid too. Um, and I'll get into more of the uh, specifics, but I just wanted you to see uh, the overall vision uh, for where this project is going to be headed. I'm going to try to break this up into smaller parts so that uh, we'll be doing, you'll be seeing me do uh, smaller chunks of videos, um, but we'll have more of them in the series. So. Uh, it'll be a little bit different format than the uh, 30 or 40 minute videos that I usually do, but I hope that it's enjoyable. I hope it's helpful for you to be able to see the superstructure, uh, how to build the actual parts of a web, a real working website and a modern website uh, using CSS Grid. Uh, so plow on to the next video <coughs> and uh, I'll see you next time.